Today, about 35% of doctors are women. Imagine over 150 years ago when this was not the case. When most women and girls did not receive much, if any, formal education, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman to earn a medical degree in 1849. In the 19th century, the United States settled into its new status as a self-governed democracy. It was a time of rapid social change as citizens began to shape American society through a series of reform movements, temperance, public education, abolition of slavery, and women's rights were among the debated issues. The drive for gender equality included dress reform and the right to work in a professional field alongside men. Women had worked as healers for many years, but had never had the opportunity to formally train as physicians. In the 1850s, colleges like the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania provided that opportunity. But even with a medical degree, women were not permitted to serve in the military as doctors. Mary Edwards Walker received her medical degree in 1855 from Syracuse Medical College. In March of 1864, she was appointed as a Civil War contract surgeon. She was the only woman to serve as a physician. In April 1864, Dr. Walker was captured by Confederate soldiers and held prisoner for four months. In recognition of her services, President Andrew Johnson awarded her a Medal of Honor in 1865. After the war, Dr. Walker focused on advocating for women's dress reform and temperance. Historical documents, such as letters, newspaper clippings, and photographs capture Dr. Walker's experiences. Explore the original source documents by reading and listening to form your own conclusions about the only woman to serve as a physician in the Civil War.